Okay, so I researched and there used to be a mill in this area. And I saw it in some old pictures and wow, I just picked up this really cool, looks like <laughs> silver ring. And what's crazy about it is, there's been a lot of junk in this area, so I've just been kind of cherry picking just to get a feel if there's anything worth really digging everything up. And right before this ring, let me show you. <laughs> I got this ring. And this one looks like it's a copper ring. Not in great shape, but another men's ring. It's two rings in a row. I did get a wheat penny just a second ago, 1948, and it was right on top. But anyways, this spot dates back to early 1900s, and kind of overlooks a nice little piece of the lake right here. It's just kind of a little flat plateau, but right above me was two huge mills. So I was thinking maybe they took breaks right here. Wow, you can't make this shit up. Look at this. Three rings in a row. What the heck? That is where I just pulled the silver ring. Right there. And look. This far away, I just got this one. Don't know what it's made out of. Gave me about a 60 signal, but holy crap. Three, <laughs> three rings in a row. Okay. Seriously. This is just getting strange. Only, okay, like, right here is where I dug that last ring, or wait, this was the silver one, right here is the junk one, and then just inches away is another silver ring, it looks like, and it's an Indian head on it. What is this, like a ring graveyard? All those rings, now I just pulled a... It's like a Kennedy half. Let me see if I can get a year, hold on. It's like a 1974. I'll take it. Okay, I'm doing a little wrap up of this hunt. Um, this is a sterling silver ring with the little Indian chief on it. You can see the hallmark right there. It also has one it also says 925 right there if you can kind of see it. This one's a beaut. This is a nice big sterling men's ring, same thing. It's actually got almost identical hallmarks to the one I just showed you. I got this little junk ring. This one I cleaned up a little bit. It turns out uh, it's copper, pretty sure. Here's that wheat penny I was telling you about. It's got a little ding on it. I think it was hit with a lawnmower. But this was actually right on the surface. Like I didn't even dig it. And, of course, that half dollar. But I got home, and I didn't have footage of this one. I thought I recorded it. But this was another sterling ring I found right next to all these other ones. It's got a little bit of turquoise in it. But anyways, it's kind of weird to find five rings in the same area. So, I don't know if somebody stole them and then had to ditch them. I'm not really sure what the deal was, but... Finders Keepers.